Hello, and welcome to this edition of the CSIAC podcast series. In this episode, the concept of hypergaming will be defined and discussed in reference to its potential as a way to examine cyber as a discipline and domain. It will explore how hypergaming can address cyber's wicked nature from multiple perspectives. Finally, a cyber-centric hypergame model will be presented. Hypergaming analysis as a tool for examining conflicts, situations, and constructs has been used for decades. Its flexibility and applicability has made hypergaming a tool that some find indispensable, mostly due to its immersive and complex landscape. In hypergames, respective adversaries may not be fully aware of the nature of the engagement they are participating in. It is especially useful in gaming for disciplines like cyber. This podcast Several areas attuned to hypergame analysis for cyber will be examined. Cyber as a discipline has its roots spread out in many different technical areas. Hypergaming is a good fit for analyzing cyber and its prolific extensions into every domain. There is an advantage to using cognitive operations together with cyber operations. Actions taken in the spheres of cognitive and cyber operations have to be well-planned, prepared, and coordinated. Information and systems associated with the cyber domain require a multi-layered and consistently scalable analysis methodology. Cyber hypergames allow for exploration of the unknowns and generate situations that must be handled through judgment and decision making that is more realistic. Cyber hypergames force players to recognize not just what they know, but also what they do not know. Decision making is a common, difficult occurrence within cyber that carries with it the potential to create unforeseen effects. So courses of action must be considered very carefully. Decision makers may have radically differing views of the world, which may crucially affect their choices. Hypergaming can bridge the gap to assist decision makers in understanding a much wider array of possibilities. Cyber can be characterized as a wicked problem. Hypergames do not necessarily seek to fix the problem, but to analyze and assess it. By analyzing the various COAs through hypermapping, players can get a much richer experience and better feel for how cyber operations might actually develop in a real world circumstance. Modeling has deep roots in military and cyber science applications. It is a proven useful method for virtually experiencing surprising and unexpected situations within a controlled experimental environment, such as conflicts that arise as cyber operations and warfare progress between adversaries. There are various ways of representing a game, perhaps the most intuitive being as a tree of moves. For example, a game of chess, which grows and branches out in many unexpected directions. In a cyber hypergame, the objective is to learn and grow. Dynamic modeling in cyber cyber hypergaming may be useful to deal with time constraints and the inclusion of new information. Modeling for cyber hypergames generates a formula for control and bordering that assists in guiding the flow of the game. 
The use of hypergame analysis can be of great help from an operational analysis perspective. Many decision problems involve conflicts of interest between participants. Hypergame analysis is one way of modeling such situations. As decisions within a cyber operational construct become more and more complex, divergent views of potential choices can become problematic. Conflicts and different interpretations of information can be explored and mitigated within an experimental framework. Perceptions and flex points become more visible and open to discussion and optimization. Hypergame analysis for cyber can be particularly constructive where massive amounts of data are involved. Cyber hypergaming combined with information operations increases the benefits of the analysis for both disciplines. Researchers and analysts have noted the ability of hypergame analysis to model deception and surprise. The use of information to influence and mold adversary responses is a key methodology within IO and cyber. Understanding and predicting adversary behavior is crucial. Another important aspect of cyber and IO revolves around the concept of information superiority. On the battlefield, the one who has the most information is the one who will most likely prevail. Whoever controls the information controls the battle space. Information warfare has surged as an important and all-encompassing strategy encapsulating multiple disciplines, which creates the need to analyze information, its flow and intricacies. Hypergaming offers a structure for this analysis. Information is key, but it also can be a barrier to understanding as it is often an avalanche of data. A large portion of information warfare is focused on controlling information and using it to influence other players. This method of control is often used in producing COAs. Decision-making processes rely heavily on a collection of data that is purposeful, correct, and timely. The opportunity to discover these types of denial, degradation, and destruction methodologies within safe and controlled space of cyber hypergaming offers a way to see the many and varied possibilities a cyber warrior might encounter. Probably the best example of modeling information warfare with hypergaming was established by Kopp in his application of Shannon's information theory concept to hypergaming. Before a model for cyber hypergames can be laid out, a general understanding of hypergaming as a construct must be presented. This diagram depicts a simple model showing the difference between a game and hypergame. As Kopp explains, in a hypergame, the players perceive their opponent's games. How accurate that perception might be depends on the information available to respective players. Inaccurate information leads to a misperception of the game state and may lead to actions which do not gain the player an advantage. took the information theory concept and extended it into four canonical offensive information warfare strategies. First, we have denial of information, also referred to as degradation or destruction. The next strategy is deception and mimicry. It's also often referred to as corruption. Next up is disruption and destruction. This is referred to as a first form of denial. And finally, we have sub subversion, which is a second form of denial. In these examples, information is manipulated and obscured 
such that the adversary in the game cannot control the information. Through control of data information, the four canonical information warfare strategies are demonstrated for a cyber hypergame construct. The concept must be applied to the prosecution of a game. The four strategies are depicted using the information flow concept to indicate how information is denied, degraded, disrupted, or destroyed within each strategic construct. The full complement of the cyber hypergame concept can be used to great effect for analysis of numerous types of cyber operations. The concept can be applied using information theory across the full spectrum of cyber and information warfare. The cyber domain is one of extreme complexity and interconnections. Infinite decisions can be made, multiplying possible COAs and complicating operations within cyber, information warfare, and multi-domain operations. Hypergame analysis is a powerful tool capable of allowing its players to see intricacies and unexpected possibilities. Through the use of the Cyber Hypergaming model, Cyber Warriors have the opportunity to delve more deeply into the understanding of the information environment and how to more accurately construct COAs for use in the cyber domain, information warfare, and multi-domain operations. On behalf of the CSIAC, we'd like to thank you for viewing this podcast. We hope you found the content useful and informative. If you would like to provide feedback or comments, please visit our website at www.csiac.org, where you can also find additional content to review. Thank you. Did you know that CSIAC offers free monthly webinars featuring experts in the areas of cybersecurity, software engineering, modeling and simulation, and knowledge management? Come see leading industry professionals talk about industry practices and leading research. Make sure to visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars in order to subscribe to our mailing list and see when the next webinar series is available. There you can also watch previous webinar series to catch up visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars.